Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sensory Storytime at the William Jeans Library. This is Miss Rachel here, and we are starting off the month of September. Welcome. And I have um, a new microphone and a webcam because I'm we're getting really fancy around here. So if you can't hear me, if it's not working, um, or if you can hear me and you can't see me, please let me know in the comments. I'm just going to keep going. Um, but if you can let me know if anything's not working the way it should be, that would be great. Um, I'm so happy that we are here together this morning. I know about a handful of you that are watching live and I'm so glad and I can't wait to sing your name. Um, if you're here and you didn't let me know ahead of time and you'd like me to sing your child's name, please just drop it in the comments and I will try to keep up um, not forget to look at that so that I can say hello to everyone because I love all of you so much and I am so glad that you are here. We're going to start with our welcome song, then we'll read our first book, and then we'll do another song. Then we'll do our second book, and when we get to this song, it'll be our shaker song. So. If you haven't already, you can grab something that you can shake. It doesn't have to be a shaker. It could be anything that you put in your hands that makes noise. Or even if it doesn't make noise and you just want to shake your body and your hands along with us, that's fine too. Then we'll do our scarf song. Same thing there. You can grab a scarf, but you really can grab anything at all that you can wave around in the air like a scarf. And then, of course, we will do bubbles. And maybe you're not allowed to blow bubbles inside. Maybe you don't have bubbles. That's okay. You can join us with the bubbles if you like, or you can just enjoy the bubbles that I will blow for you that you'll see on your screen. So let's start by welcoming everyone here this morning. And let's see, we have Lena and Logan, and we have Mari. That's very exciting. I'm so glad you guys are all here. Let's sing good morning. Let's all clap, cause Luca is here, Luca is here, Luca is here. Let's all clap, cause Luca is here, Luca is here today. Let's all clap, cause Lorenzo is here, Lorenzo is here, Lorenzo is here. Let's all clap, cause Lorenzo is here, Lorenzo is here today. Let's all clap, cause Brayden is here, Brayden is here, Brayden is here. Let's all clap, cause Brayden is here, Brayden is here today. Let's all clap, cause Kaylin is here, Kaylin is here, Kaylin is here. Let's all clap, cause Kaylin is here, Kaylin is here today. Let's all clap, cause Eva is here, Eva is here, Eva is here. Let's all clap, cause Eva is here, Eva is here today. Let's all clap, cause Casey is here, Casey is here, Casey is here. Let's all clap, cause Casey is here, Casey is here today. Let's all clap, cause Lena is here, Lena is here, Lena is here. Let's all clap, cause Lena is here, Lena is here today. Let's all clap, cause Logan is here, Logan is here, Logan is here. Let's all clap, cause Logan is here, Logan is here today. Let's all clap, cause Mari is here, Mari is here, Mari is here. Let's all clap, cause Mari is here, Mari is here today. I'm so glad to see you all. Whoops, I'm just going to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are going to read a book today about this little blue person. Well, not person. That's not a person, is it? It's called I Am Scary. Do you think this is a scary, scary creature? Let's find out. It's by Elise Gravel who has a bunch of great children's books. You should check them out if you haven't, aren't familiar. And um, we're gonna read this today with permission from Orca Book Publishers. I am scary. I'm gonna get closer so you can see the pictures. The only fun thing about doing story time on the computer instead of in person is that I can use little tiny books because I can get them really close and you can all see them. 
If we were here in the library together, it might be hard for you to see the little pictures in a group. So that's one little benefit. But I do miss seeing you in person very much. I am scary. Look at my pointy teeth. Look at my huge eyes. Does this child look scared? Maybe the little dog is scared, but the child doesn't look scared. And these sharp claws. And these long pointy horns. Are you afraid of me? No? You're not scared? impossible. Listen to this. <laughs> Surely you will run and hide under your bed now. Um, no says the child. And the dog says, yep, 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 yep. Okay, listen to this then. Roar! I'm still not scared. You're cute, says the child. What? Cute? I can't be cute. I'm a monster. What will happen to me if I'm not scary? How about I give you a big hug? Even the dog joins. Sorry about the light. I'm trying to get you to be able to see the monster hug without the glare. I am scary. Except the scary monster wasn't scary. The child thought it was cute and decided to give the monster a hug instead. Sometimes that helps if something is scary to get close and learn a little bit more about it. And that was a very brave child. They were not scared at all of the monster. And maybe people that seem a little grouchy like a monster might just need a hug. Especially, these can be some grouchy times. So we can be patient with each other and give lots of good hugs. Thank you for joining me for that book. Now I think we're ready to sing a song and get moving a little bit. We're going to pretend we're taking a ride on an elevator. So if you are um, a little brother or sister that's sitting on someone's lap, maybe that someone is a grown-up that can hold you up, 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 and bring you down, 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 down. But I think most of you are big kids, so you can do this yourself. And I'm going to end up going down below the computer screen 
and going up off the computer screen, but you'll know what we're doing and you can follow along. Are you ready? Let's go riding on an elevator, elevator, elevator. Let's go riding on an elevator. Come along with me. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, and down, 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 down. Everybody okay? Are we all still here? Let's go for another ride. Let's go riding on an elevator, elevator, elevator. Let's go riding on an elevator. Come along with me. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, and down, 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 down. You ready to do it again a little bit faster? Let's go. Let's go riding on an elevator, elevator, elevator. Let's go riding on an elevator. Come along with me. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, and down, 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 down. I had to check for a minute and make sure my zipper wasn't down. That would be embarrassing. All right, we're all good. Let's do it one more time. Let's go riding on an elevator, elevator, elevator. Let's go riding on an elevator. Come along with me. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, and down, 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 down. I like riding elevators. They make me feel a little bit funny in my stomach sometimes when they get to the floor where they're going. Do you like elevators? It can be fun to pretend we're on an elevator too and we can go up and down a lot faster than a real elevator. Okay, let's read our next book, which has a creature that looks a little bit like our monster here, but it's not a monster. Well, it kind of is. It is a troll. And this is another grumpy, maybe scary, blue creature. But let's find out what happens. It's called the Three Billy Goats, not gruff, but buenos. This book uses a lot of fun words that are not in English. So we can learn a couple new words. It's by Susan Middleton Elia, illustrated by Miguel Ordonez, the three billy goats, buenos. And here they are, the three goats and the troll. We're gonna read this with permission from the publisher, Putnam. And if you check this book out from our library or from another library, at the beginning it has all the words that you'll hear me say in Spanish, um, their pronunciation, and what they mean, so you can practice them. There once were three goats, and a, there once were three goats, a brotherly trio. They needed to crisscross a fast-moving rio. That means river. But under the bridge lived a grumpy gigante with tootsies as big as a small elefante. Gigante means giant. And in the fairy tale you might have heard, we call it a troll. But gigante is what we're calling this one here. With tootsies as big as a small elefante, you might guess that that means elephant. Big feet like an elefante. Troll's ojos were glowing. Her nose was a hook. She stopped kids from crossing with one scary look. These are her ojos, her eyes. With three heads together, a mission was planned to get past the grumpiest troll in the land. The smallest goat, Uno, so inteligente, 
clopped right up to the edge of El Puente. Inteligente means smart, intelligent. So little Uno, number one, is a smart little goat and tiptoed, clip clopped right up to the edge of El Puente, the bridge. Hey, roared the troll, her giant head bobbing. You have some nerve and soon you'll be sobbing. Please, said the hoof shaking tiny cabrito. May I go in by, may I go by in a short momentito? How many creatures can pass me? Ningunos! You kids will be part of mis desayunos. Cabrito is a little goat. And a momentito is a little minute. Like, just a second. Ningunos means no one, no one can pass, says the troll. Or they will be part of the troll's desayuno, which means breakfast. <gasps> Wait, said the little goat. I'm not sabroso. Try my big brother. He's so delicioso. Sabroso means tasty. This little goat is trying to tell the troll to eat its brother. It says its brother is delicious. In fact, my small bones will stick in your dientes. Teeth. Wait till the bigger goat reaches your puente. Remember, puente is bridge. He's headed this way to that meadow of grass. The troll licked her labios. Fine, you may pass. Mm. The troll's getting hungry and licking her labios, her lips. The little goat crossed to the banks of the lado, then followed his nose to the lush, lovely prado. The goat crossed to the other side, el lado, then followed his nose to the lush, lovely prado, the meadow. Along came the second goat, numero dos. Halt! yelled the troll in her scritch scratchy voice. Numero dos means number two, goat number two. And the troll has a scritch scratchy voice, which is her voice. My meal is before me, here for the taking. See these big choppers? Why aren't you shaking? Wait! said the middle goat, I'm not sabroso. Try my big brother, he's so delicioso. So this goat is saying also, I am not tasty, sabroso, but my big brother is delicious, delicioso. The troll rubbed her chin, both whiskered and warty. I heard a rumor that you taste good, shorty. The goat shook his spotted cabeza, not me. These spots will taste bitter. I'm the worst of the three. The spotted cabeza is the goat's head. Cabeza. The troll licked her labios. Fine, you may pass. The goat hurried off to the clover and grass. He joined his hermano. That means brother. The two butted heads, they frolicked and romped like true quadrupeds. A quadruped is not a Spanish word, but it is a big word, and it just means something with four legs that walks around on four legs. Then next came the biggest goat, numero tres. If the troll lets me by, what will she eat después? Numero tres. Numero tres means number three. And now this goat is worried because there are no more other goats to say, oh no, eat the next one. What will the troll eat después, after? And why is she so grumpy? Tres wanted to know. His gentle eyes noticed the gal's swollen toe. Stuck to her foot was a long, sharp espina. A thorn. Ay, that must hurt you a lot, mi vecina. That means, oh, that must hurt you a lot, my neighbor. 
a big salty lagrima fell from her eye. No one has noticed you're the first guy. What's something big and salty that could fall from your eye? A lagrima? A tear. The troll is crying. The goat called his brothers. This troll needs a remedy. Please gather hierbas to soothe her extremity. Hierbas means herbs. They're going to find something to help the thorn in the troll's toe. Goat Tres pulled the thorn. He used his big dientes. That gal was the happiest troll of all puentes. Bridges. The others found herbs, mashed them up with their teeth, returned to her foot, put the paste underneath. They're going to heal her. Next, they picked frutas, fruit in an orchard nearby. A gift of manzanas, she said, I might cry. Frutas is fruit of all kinds. Manzanas are apples. The troll's scary cara stopped looking so mean, and she'd wave to the three as they crossed to the green. The troll's cara is her face. Do you have a smiling cara? Now the troll has a smiling cara, not a mean one. Pass, young cabritos, and don't pay a toll. We're all amigos, said their new friend, the troll. Remember, cabritos means little goats. And amigos, maybe you know this one, means friends. Now they're all friends. Just like in our other book, the monster maybe needed a hug. And in this one, the troll just needed some help with her toe that had a thorn, like a splinter stuck in it. Sometimes when people are grouchy or mean, it's because they're hurting or they need something. So I like that book because they all end up to be amigos at the end. But I also like it because we could practice some Spanish words. Um, all of the books that I read in Storytime are available at the library, or we have them at the library. Somebody else might check them out at any given time, but we encourage you to um, check out what we have and read books with the kids at home. Thank you for joining me for our troll book and the Billy Goats Buenos. That leads us to shaker time. So grab whatever it is you have to shake, and I'm going to get our song ready. Um, like I said, if you don't have shaker eggs like this, that's okay. It's time to put some rice or beans or any kind of grain inside any kind of container. You can use keys, you can use a baby rattle, you can use maracas, or you can use shaker eggs if you have them. All right, I think we're ready. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it. Shake it on your tummy. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. Come on, shake it all around. Shake it anywhere you want. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it down. Come on, 
Shaker song with you. Now we are ready for our scarf song. So you can find something that you can use to wave around. It could be a napkin, a paper napkin, a cloth napkin. It could be a tissue, a paper towel, a piece of toilet paper. It could be a piece of clothing. It could be a scarf that somebody in your house likes to wear to be fancy, or it could be a scarf just like this, the one I have that I use for story time. I think I'm gonna need to use a different color next week. I've been using blue for a long time, so you have to come back next week and see which color we choose. All right, we are gonna do um, a fish song. So we like to pretend that our scarves are all kinds of different things. We do popcorn and clocks and all kinds of things. Today we're going to pretend it's a fish. One little fish is swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little fish is swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 bubble. Let's do it a little faster. One little fish is swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little fish is swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 bubble. Pop! Now let's do it slowly. It's a big, slow fish. One little fish is swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Whoa! One little fish is swimming in the water, bubble, 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 bubble. One little fish is swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little fish is swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop! One little fish is swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little fish is swimming in the water, Bubble, 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 pop! All right, I'm going to put my scarf away because we have one thing left to do today. We're going to do our bubbles because we always end and say goodbye to each other. So, you can follow along the bubbles that you see on the screen, or you can blow some of your own bubbles inside or outside, maybe after story time, 
whatever you are allowed to do that works in your home or wherever you are. So let's sing our bubble song. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air. There are bubbles everywhere. There are bubbles in the air everywhere. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high. There are bubbles in the sky. There are bubbles way up high in the sky. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low. And they tickle on your toes. There are bubbles way down low on your toes. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye until next time. And the bubbles say goodbye till next time. Goodbye until next time, my wonderful, delightful storytime friends. Thank you so much for joining me. It's so good to spend this time together with you, and I hope you will join me again next week. Bye-bye.